Meanwhile, Pakistan's embassy in Kabul was attacked last Friday. The Islamic State Khorasan province had claimed responsibility for this. And now, the Islamic State has also released images of the attackers in their newsletter. Now, these are the pictures of the men who are said to be responsible for the attack. They can, in fact, be seen posing with their weapons. There's also a picture which appears to show them conducting the attack. The many terror outfits use images such as this for their propaganda. The target of the attack was Ubaid ur Rahman Nizamani. He's a, the Pakistani head of the mission and charged the affairs. Nizamani is the one who's wearing a blue sweater in the photograph, and the person behind him is said to be Asrar Muhammad. The security officer who was wounded by the Udvi assassin's bullet, Nizamani returned to Pakistan in the aftermath of the attack. However, he has said that there are no plans on shutting down the embassy or withdrawing the embassy staff. On Monday, the Taliban had said that they had arrested the person responsible for this attack, and they also said that the person was in fact a foreign national, but have declined to mention as to where he was from. All right, now to give us more insights in terms of what all of this, of course, means and how this is playing out between Pakistan and Afghanistan, we're being joined in by our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik, who's joining us live on this broadcast. He's joining us live from Islamabad. Anas, this is a major incident that has happened where the embassy of Pakistan in Afghanistan came under attack. Tell us as to how Pakistan views this, because many would, of course, say that Taliban has reasonably good relations with Pakistan and therefore one would have expected that the Pakistani embassy at least would have been safe in Kabul. Well, good relations with Pakistan or not, but this is a major security breach on the part of the Taliban, on the part of the Afghan government, which is now being ruled by the Taliban. And that is what has been the thrust of Pakistan's, uh, Pakistan's plea, Pakistan's call for added security. Uh, you see those pictures that have been issued in the al Naba magazine. What we understand is that uh, the place, the, uh, the diplomats were properly surveilled upon, and then the attack took place from the high rise that is northeast to the Pakistan house or to the Pakistani embassy compound. Uh, uh, the Taliban say that they have arrested at least one person, the details of which are yet to be officially shared through diplomatic channels to Pakistan. The Pakistani head of mission is very much here, but uh, this goes on to bigger uh, to, to show on one thing and rather reinforce one thing. In the Doha negotiations or before uh, the Taliban takeover of Kabul, they had been emphasizing that uh, the need for withdrawal remains because they need to focus on one enemy and that is the IS. And with that, with the withdrawal that has happened in the Taliban takeover of Kabul, the Taliban are now in power, but they seemingly seem to don't uh, have any grip on the issue of uh, terrorism or counter-terrorism, uh, as, as one would put it. And a testament of this is very recently the attack on the Pakistani embassy itself, where the Pakistani head of mission, uh, Ubaidul Rahman Nizamani, had slightly, rather miraculously escaped the assassination attempt. Saleh? Absolutely indeed. Thank you very much indeed, Anas Malik, for joining us and getting us all those insights there. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.